The LL series RGB fans from Corsair feature high airflow, quiet operation, and 16 independent RGB LEDs per loop in 120 or 140 models. To give your PC the bling it deserves, click on the link below. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're taking a look at this product right here. This is the Litter Robot 3 from Autopets, and it's a litter box, pretty much. I never thought I'd be reviewing a litter box on this channel, to be honest, but the moment I caught wind of it, being a cat owner myself, I could not pass up the opportunity to take a look at it. It's basically supposed to be the greatest automated self-cleaning litter box on the market right now, and for 500 US dollars, it damn well better be. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my two cats to death. They're soft and sweet and cuddly, but they also poop a lot, and they're a lot to clean up after, especially if you have two of them. And I think most cat owners would agree with me that cleaning out the litter box is the worst part about owning a cat. And this product aims to take away the hassle of cat ownership. So we're gonna be taking a look at it today. I'm super excited. And if you guys stay till the second half of this video, I'll actually be introducing this product to my cats at home for the very first time. We'll get to see their reaction, should be pretty fun. But let's first talk about this product and uh, just sort of what it looks like. I mean, it looks like, kind of looks like Kenny from South Park. Every time I look at it, that's what I think of. So it's got this giant globe, we'll call it the globe, and this sort of plastic bonnet that goes over it. It's pretty much full plastic construction, very sturdy though. Now, obviously the globe is where you would put the litter and where the cat would do his business. And we'll discuss how that works in just a moment. Uh, but the inside here, at least for the bottom half where the litter would go, is lined with a really solid rubber. It's very high quality, it's super durable, easy to clean. We'll talk about that momentarily. Uh, and it just seems like it's built to last. Additionally, we've got some buttons here and some LED indicators. In front of the globe is a removable rubber mat that's used to catch any litter that your cats may kick out whenever they leave the globe. But it's pretty small and it's probably not gonna catch everything, I would imagine. So you might wanna invest in a larger mat that you place in front of it just to ensure that you catch everything. Now you can see here the mat actually sits on top of a handle that allows you to pull out this removable tray, uh, which gives you access to uh, a lined baggie where all of the poop and other clumped bits fall into uh, after a cleaning cycle has taken place. Now in order to show you guys how all of that crap gets to the bottom of this thing in the first place, we should probably talk about how the heck this thing works. So for starters, you need to fill it up with litter, all right? And you need to use a clumping litter. It can't be purely absorbent. Uh, clumping is essential for this product to work. You can use bead or crystallized litter. That's totally fine as long as it's fine enough in order to pass through the internal mesh screen. After you pour the litter up to the fill line and turn the unit on, you're pretty much ready to go. At that point, there's a cat sensor that will detect when a cat is inside of the globe. And as soon as your cat leaves the globe after he's done doing his business, there will be a short wait period or a wait time before the unit starts its self-cleaning cycle. At that point, the entire globe starts to rotate slowly and it does emit a low humming noise while it does this. However, it's very quiet and I can't imagine most cats would be bothered by it or scared of it uh, unless they're super, super timid or something like that. We'll have a chance to test it out later, I, I, I suppose. Uh, and then as it continues spinning, um, it eventually sifts out all of the clumps and it separates the clumps with this internal mesh screen from all of the litter. And then at that point, the clumps get dumped through the poop chute, is what I suppose I would call it. And then it gets all trapped into the bottom tray here that we showed earlier. Afterwards, the globe starts to rotate back to its original position and it actually overshoots its home point for a moment. And that's just so that it can return the litter bed back to a very flat state so that when your cat jumps in there next time, it's not all lopsided. One of these cleaning cycles takes about two and a half minutes to fully complete, and then it's ready to go again. I should also mention that if a cat tries to jump into the dome while the cycle is in progress, the cat sensor will pick it up and it'll immediately stop until the cat leaves. Now circling back to disposal for a minute, uh, the manual suggests replacing the bag in the tray once a week if you have one cat or twice a week if you have two cats. So it's actually not too bad. Uh, removal of the bag is super easy. Basically you just take the bag out and it's, it's, it's good to go. It's really easy to replace the bags as well. It latches onto these four plastic tabs. Um, you can buy more bags from Auto Pets if you like, or you can just buy your own 10 to 13 gallon trash bags at the store that might be cheaper. Now, one small shortcoming that I haven't experienced myself yet because I haven't really used this with my cats, but I have seen in other reviews is that because the poop chute is sort of located to the left of the unit, anytime this thing gets really full, it'll start piling up specifically on the left side of the tray, which means it could get pretty filled up uh, when it's 
it's not actually full. So maybe every once in a while you might have to take the tray out, sort of do this a little bit and flatten out the level of, of, of crap in here uh, before putting it back in. That'll give you a little bit more time before you have to fully replace it. I should also mention the unit features a handy LED indicator letting you know when the trash bag is full and needs replacing. But moving on to some extra features, let's say you're not too privy with the whole automated system here and you just wanted to run the clean cycle manually. You could easily do that. Basically, you would just turn the unit off. And anytime you notice that your cat has left the special present inside for you, you basically just turn it on and it'll automatically do a single cleaning cycle. Now for all of you cat owners out there who have to have the litter box in your bedroom, first off my condolences, and you probably don't want something like this keeping you up at night as it's doing an automated cleaning cycle. So what you can actually do is put it into sleep mode. And from the time you enter sleep mode, it'll actually go inactive for eight hours and that's repeatable. So every 24 hours, it'll stop working for that eight hours from when you initially set it. So you only have to set it once and it's pretty much never gonna wake you up in the middle of the night. Now I did mention wait time earlier. Wait time is basically the time between when your cat leaves the globe to when the cycle actually starts. And basically you can change that time. You can either do three, seven, or 15 minutes. The reason why you might want a longer wait time is because some litter actually takes longer to clump. And if it's not clumping properly, you don't give it enough time, this product's not gonna be quite as effective. So you can actually change that on the fly with one of these buttons. Now obviously cats have pretty good night vision. In fact, it's much better than our own. But with age, some cats' vision starts to deteriorate. And for that reason, they've actually built in a nightlight inside of the globe. It's all, you know, darkness activated. So as soon as the lights go out, it automatically pops on this blue light. And unfortunately, it is not RGB. What the hell are we doing with this thing? Get it out of here! Now the manual doesn't say you have to regularly replace the litter, it's pretty sanitary on its own, but in the event that you wanted to clean the inside of the actual globe, you would have to get that litter out somehow. So there is an empty button. Once you press that, the globe starts to rotate, albeit in the opposite direction as the cleaning cycle, and that essentially dumps everything. All the poop, the pee, and the litter gets funneled into the bottom tray. At that point, you can start tearing this thing apart and prep it for cleaning. Starting with the bonnet, uh, there's a plastic tab on either side. You push that inward, pops off very easily, and the globe itself, you pretty much just lift it straight off of the base. The globe itself, which is gonna be obviously the dirtiest part of this whole product, is completely circuit and electric free. There's no wiring or any sort of electronic components inside of it, which means you can pretty much blast it with a power hose or something like that to get it super clean. You can use soap, it's totally fine with that, as long as it's a mild soap and nothing too toxic for your cats, obviously. And then you pretty much let it dry. Uh, the rubber itself dries nearly instantly, which is a nice bonus. And then uh, you put it back together, fill it back with litter, and you're ready to go once again. So there you go, those are the basics. I'm sure you've learned more about litter boxes in the last five minutes than you have in your entire life. But with that said, I think it's time to bring this guy home. We have to introduce it to my cats for the very first time and get their reaction. Cats react. Oh my God, that's gonna be the clickbait title of this video. Um, and uh, yeah, we can't do a proper full litter box review without the cat's opinion. So on that note, let's go home. All right, so we are now into the following morning here at the Bitwit home base. It's been about 12 hours since we formally introduced our cats to the litter robot. And the way we did that was we tried to make it as easy of a transition as possible. For starters, we placed the unit in the exact same spot as their old litter box, just to reinforce the idea that this is the area where you go to the bathroom. And then after we filled up the litter bed with some fresh litter, we actually took a scoop of their old used litter. I know it sounds kind of gross, but we sprinkled that on the very top just to familiarize them with the scent. So when they stick their head in there and they sniff around, they go, oh, this is familiar. I I've pooped here before. Hooray for poop familiarity. And then to top it all off, we took a bottle of sprayable catnip and just lightly sprayed the litter mat that goes right in front of the globe. That was just to introduce them to a familiar, pleasant scent that uh, is supposed to relax them and just keep them from being too intimidated by this large foreign object. Now, another pro tip we found in the manual was to leave the actual unit powered off for the first couple of days, just to get the cats used to using it as a regular litter box before you introduce the sounds and movements that the product makes during its cleaning cycle. Now, surprisingly, within the first hour or so, our boy cat started investigating. He got curious, as cats usually do, and he actually approached the globe. He, he crawled inside of it. It took him a while to get inside fully because I think he was scoping out the rubber, the rubber surface. It's a little bit flimsy, so he was probably trying to figure out whether or not it was a stable surface for him to, to actually stand on. But once he jumped in, he took a little leak and he jumped out and it was totally fine. 
I still have yet to witness the girl cat go inside and use the litter robot, but that's not to say she didn't contribute to any of the clumps I found this morning. At any rate, I'm sure she'll see that her brother is using it just fine and uh, will eventually follow suit, so I'm not too concerned there. On a final note, I was 100% correct in my assumption that that litter mat would not catch all of the litter that our cats kick out anytime they exit the globe. There's a bunch of litter on our laundry room floor now, so we'll probably have to get a larger mat to place in front of the unit. I should also mention that the manual specifies not to put a rug or mat underneath the actual product and that the product should be on a flat, stable surface, just to ensure that the cat sensor isn't thrown off and it can uh, accurately detect whenever a cat is inside the globe. So summing things up here, speaking from my own experience as a cat owner in my own situation, I have two cats and they fill up my litter box twice as quickly as a single cat household. I also have a very hectic schedule. I'm incredibly busy all the time and I have limited time whether I'm away or at home. So for me, this is a worthwhile investment. Now, if you only have one cat and you're only cleaning out the litter box a few times a week, then you probably don't need this product, to be honest. Go ahead and spend that $500 elsewhere. But for all of us multi-cat owners with incredibly busy lives, uh, who travel often, mind you, this product is a total godsend, and I would highly recommend you at least try one. I believe they have a 90-day money-back guarantee, so it's zero risk if you, if you want to try it and it doesn't work out for you, if your cats are terrified of it or something like that, then you really don't have much to lose. But that is pretty much going to do it for now for this very odd and interesting review. Go ahead and toss a like on it if you enjoyed it, and feel free to leave some feedback in the comments below. You can also check me out on Floatplane so you can watch all my stuff a week early. I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. Other than that, feel free to subscribe to the channel for more tech stuff coming at you really soon. Have a good one, guys. I will see you all in the next